Rose Blade. Hey, welcome back. Uh, progressive scan. Um, I I don't know. It does something about like locking vertical synchronization and stuff. Um, okay. It does something. It makes the frame rate smoother. Um, but it's also not available on certain TVs, I think, which is why it isn't automatically on. And some games just don't have it. Like I think God of War One doesn't have it. Does Where, not. Whereas two does. No, I think God of War One does. Because I'm pretty sure we used it. Oh no, that's right. Through. Jack One, Jack and Daxter doesn't have it. The precursor legacy. Oh, I forgot. You had to hit. You had to smack the button. There's actually a point of my down smash here. Oh, so that just means it can't come back? I guess so. That's how they designed it. They, yeah. They needed people to <laughs> so, stomp on it physically. So when when the gun is destroyed by our enemies, our enemies will have to come up to it and press this foot plate or else it will respawn. Yeah. So uh, why won't it respawn after the foot plate's pressed? Well, that wouldn't be fair. The, the what, We want to give our enemies a chance. Why what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just didn't think that far. He's like, ha ha, so, you'll never get it back, but like, but we want it back. I'm so, excuse me? <laughs> no, I think this is like buttons that I have to press um, that like turn something off. That would be pretty badass, walking up to what is essentially an anti-air weapon and just punching it in the face, blowing it up. And it, like, it does, like, it, yeah, it shoots you right in the face. And then you punch it, and they're like, yeah. he's unstoppable! And you go, and I quote, oof, when you get shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> or I can pronounce it, unstoppable. Are you stoppable? Nah, I'm unstoppable. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. Apparently, where to go? <laughs> apparently, flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. <laughs> this world. <laughs> it is kind of a weird one. Inflammable, like e inflammable. Right. I see. Like it makes sense. Invaluable. It's something that can be inflamed. But yeah, but invaluable is also valuable. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. No, well. Yeah, that's a good point. That doesn't make any sense. No. Because invalid is not a very good point. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's such a great point. It's completely invalid. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've seen, like... This is a meme that I really dislike. Um, uh, when people are like... You know, this, this look at my muscular dog. Your argument is invalid. Uh... People actually do that? It's, yeah, it's like not even connected. Oh, like just that in general? And it's like, what do you, what do you mean? Yeah, look how strong I am. Your political point is invalid. Uh, or when like, people say, kind of thing. this guy won the internet. It's like, shut the fuck up, man. Get the fuck off the internet. Yeah. <laughs> if you think that it's a game. The imager community actually has a problem with that. Yes. Excessive hyperbole, strange cultural references that only really work for people who are, like, are regular users. Yeah. I find that that's a problem with any community, though. Is the community sort of, by its nature, starts to exclude others. <laughs> Interesting. I like how you said Excuse that. It was me. very analytical. It was very, it was very on point. You took a lot of the emotion out of that conversation and went straight for the, uh... For the science? The facts, man. Just gobble up those facts. I, uh... I like Imgur. I really do appreciate having something that'll just bring me funny stuff. Um, you know, you just poke it and tell it to be funny, and it usually is, unless it's, like, fucking April 1st or Pi Day or something. I like Christmas. Because everyone posts selfies? Yeah. Yeah, but that kind of, like, I... I go to it to see interesting, unusual, funny, or otherwise random content. So when everyone's posting a picture of their face, there's really no aspect of randomness anymore. Well, what I like is that things like Halloween and Mardi Gras and Christmas, they are um, they are departures from the normal society to give us context to what society is supposed to be. And it also gives us an opportunity to get stuff like that out of our system. So I like that day because you get to actually see all the people that are posting and viewing. And I get That's it. It's like, it's like a day without content. But 
But it's Christmas. You really shouldn't be spending a tremendous amount of time on Imgur. At the same time, Christmas is also one of the loneliest times of the year for certain people. So if, if what you need is to spend time on Imgur and you can't, then I can see that being a problem. It's a very, very good point. I just find issues with communities that are okay with um, memes and cultural references that degrade the quality of their communication. Mm. Right? Because I'm very interested in how we, you say this. We do a lot of things, you and me, that degrade the quality of our conversation. <laughs> a lot of strange and bizarre jokes. But usually when we do it, it's sort of in uh, a satirical, ironic sense. Whereas I feel like there's a lot of people who use, like, you know the term doggo? Yes, and pupper. And pupper, yeah. They use those terms in in conversations or in comments that are supposed to otherwise sound factual. Great <laughs> job. That ramp was not AODA accessible. <laughs> Just saying, man. Um, I, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, you know Puppers is a brand of, I think, beer? Really? Yeah, it's like a whole season of uh, season joke on uh, uh, Larry Kenny. When people get upset, he's like, have a Puppers. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. So yeah. it's a Canadian beer? I guess so. I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's Maybe it was fictional for the show. On, no, it's not. It's not. Okay, so this, this, this is a great example of the music. So this, listen to our ambient music. Oh, yeah. Very noticeable. And this is a platform that flips over as you get close to it, right? Now you got to shoot it. Oh. Maybe I just wanted you to jump at it. <laughs> Maybe you've just been watching Trap Adventure 2. Oh my god, yeah. We should play that one day. I would be interested. Maybe not for particularly long, but... Like down to try like it, down to really get frustrated. one-off? Should, uh, should look up Trap Adventure 2 just to see some of the gameplay. It's it's a fascinating idea. It's been done before, but... Yeah, yeah well, I, it's, it's, um, I Want to Be the Guy was the game that did it a long time ago. Actually, it would have done it around the time that this game came out. Did I Want to Be the Guy have such a deliberate method? Yes. Where, like, so. you would try one thing, that would kill you, and then when you tried to solve that, the next thing would kill you yeah. in response to that? I'm pretty sure, and, and there was a lot of, um, stuff around in that era, like, um, Escape from Greenville. Yeah, yeah, but that was, uh, was very different. That was just memorization. You ready for this shit? Holy big boy. You actually have to shoot him dead? Yep. This is pretty cool. This is the first sort of sub boss type enemy you've fought. And you only get one skull for that. Yeah, man, he only has one skull. Holy shit. Yeah, wasn't that awesome? I, the question is, did you turn a switch that activated a mechanism that shot those out, or did you hit that switch so goddamn hard <laughs> that those things came flying out of the rock phase? I love that they put um, that precursor orb there uh, to remind you, for any of the people who like are first-time players and may have forgotten about them, to just remind you, like, oh, there are collectibles. In they this still game. exist, yeah. But it's so far in the game that they haven't. They, they've, they've handed out like three or four for the most part i had to like look behind shit this is a weird one because this sort of it's not random but it feels like it ow this is really intense i love it i love how it doesn't feel like it's um it's it's not that obvious of where i should be going and it doesn't feel like uh there's a guaranteed path it feels like you could very easily get screwed oh yeah like and this is truly can. dangerous you actually have to well, just because it, just because it's treacherous for the character doesn't make mean it feels treacherous to the player. And in but, this situation, it feels probably more treacherous than Jack actually wants to admit. Yeah, this is a Jesus. It kind of reminds me of that scene in God of War where all the stones are rolling at you and you have to fight your way up the hallway. Oh, that was an amazing scene. That was like that's like one of my top ten favorite like singular moments in a game because the feeling you get the first time you like bore down that hallway and you just see these flaming rocks flying at you. You just like and they're, love this game. They're huge too. They're very different in size. Oh no. Yeah she had oh a my God. Oh. This, this so this this area has three different directions to go and each one has pretty ridiculous checkpoints. So the camera fucked me there. Fucking I get it. I get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're just trying to blast past it, aren't you? I, it, there was nowhere to go there. Like, there was no other option for me. You, you, okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll try this one once more. This is where I personally feel like the, the uh, level design takes a giant, um, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a giant leap forward as far as, like, how good the design is, and it also, like, harkens back to Jack and Daxter, which I love. That one, man. What, what yeah, a that fucking piece of shit rock. Little rock. Ball rock, rock Little ball. rock, man. I think the moral of the story is that rolling rocks are good for games. No, 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 no. So, what's the difference between a rock and a stone, brother? Oh, it's like concrete and fucking... And, and uh, cement? Yeah. No, it's actually no difference. They're just terms people just use. Sizes? Rock and stone are the same thing. Mm. My favorite is when... Um, you, um, do you know that well records are a um, municipally or not municipally provincially kept thing? Yeah, of course. I'm like really into wells and shit, brother. So in Ontario, <laughs> if a well is dug anywhere, it has to be um, documented and f and uh, notified to the Ministry of Environment. Mm. So you can just go and find all these records of wells people have drilled in the past, and it's a good source if I want to. You know, are we on are we on sand? Are we on bedrock? Like. You know what's under us you can go look at the well records but you'll look at them and some of them you read and you're like that's not a type of thing that exists under the ground like that, that physically does not exist i'm pretty sure i know what they mean but yeah that's not that, that's not what they're talking about <laughs> it's just it's fun to read all the the weird different interpretations like um what is that it's a prize brother <laughs> this isn't gonna be good. <laughs> Daxter doesn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, physical comedy. <clears throat> Have you? When's the last time you've seen um, Slevin? I'm actually watching it right now. Me too! Really? I have almost finished it when you came over, brother. Oh, what are the odds of that? Uh, I'm so sure it recently. Just came out on Netflix. That's probably why. Uh, so, yeah, why? Uh, it just does a excellent. Um, it has a lot of visual storytelling, and I love that. It does a lot of visual storytelling. It also gives, um, gives you a lot to be. It leaves a lot up to your imagination. Which I like. Yeah. And it it makes you figure it out. I think we're done here, bro. No, no. There's three different directions I have to go. Oh, so you have to do all three missions? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I really like Lucky Number Slevin. I just felt like the plot was... Oh! I felt like the plot was really unique. I haven't really... It's a one-of-a-kind film. Yeah, I haven't really seen that done anywhere else. There's plenty of films that do that whole, like, watch it again and understand the blah, blah, blah. Mm. But this one does it just so well. In a very different way. Uh, it was it was really shitty and miserable at one point this week uh, because we were basically into spring and then winter <laughs> yeah. decided to come back. And so uh, my girlfriend was just saying, like, she wanted to watch... She wanted to watch some sort of, like, a, a thriller movie or something. Like, she wanted a dark movie, but... She also wanted a movie that was sort of like fits with the times, like the fact that it was blistery out. Right. And I was like, well, Snowpiercer is perfect. That you want something actually. if you want something dark and gloomy that's all about snow and like horrible wastelands, it's perfect. Yeah. Basically built for us. Ouch. You bitch. Wow. He got you good. I mean, he got me okay. He got you good. All right. So is it 20 for big head mode or 30? I'm starting to wonder. I can't remember. When we get 20, we'll go check. Okay, we'll check now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 30, okay. Yeah. Turn Jack's goatee off. Oh, ah! boy. Ah! <laughs> We're not doing that. Yeah, that's too confusing. But also just messes with, like what the game is ah oh my god okay it's a d totally different world like if you wanted to play this game 
Interestingly, it, you can just mirror the entire thing. It's awesome that they give you that option right off the bat. Yeah. Smoke that button. All right, you ready for this? Oh, what? So you gotta like... Yeah, that way, that way, up. and then that way. Yeah, because if I want to go over there, though... I don't think I can do it. Dude, now. I forgot about this. This is probably the best design choice. It's it's actually like one of those things that's like so hard. But really? I don't think. Reset it again. You can't shoot it, eh? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Success! Fantastic! <laughs> Shit, it really doesn't want you to. No, I remember this, like, it's, it's, oh yeah, okay, oh I see, yeah, I see. Can you jump, um, and do like your down punch right on the top of it? Okay, I see. So you gotta get right to the next one. I have to understand, I have to figure out, um... Yeah, like that. I'm gonna use this. We're gonna go this way. No way. I don't think so. You but... would be closer from the grass platform over there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you actually get pretty close. Hmm. I can't remember how to do that one. Try. It's, it's got to be this one. Try. Yeah. But there's no way. There was no way. I think I might have to come back with the hoverboard. Or just do or that. Or just, yeah, yeah, you can definitely Interesting. just make that jump. It is weird trying to get the camera angle to behave in a game. I yeah, I don't think you can make <laughs> no. it, bro. Just leave it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's, a, it's a very unique platforming tool. Why would they float? My first question. I love the noise they make. Oh yeah, it's so endearing. So I got this. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Shit. <laughs> All right. All right. This whole scene has been defined by you trying to make. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> as if no one has ever done that <laughs> as if speed run <laughs> hi oh look at you sitting he's pretty up out. here he thinks he's a good rhino he's actually a bad rhino bad rhino we ah. um we dog sat for two days a couple weeks ago and then two days um just this past friday and um all of a sudden now that the dog's gone the house feels empty Oh yeah, dude. This is an energy that any li any living creature brings. Yeah, there was a whole fucking entity that left our house. Mhm. Mm it was weird cuz we're not getting a dog of our own anytime soon, so we'll just see if we can dog sit again. <laughs> just keep living through <laughs> hey, keep living uh, through our friends. Would you mind like going out of town again? Yeah. Are you leaving or going anywhere? What do you say? This baby will put a smile on your face? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> so now where? There's uh, actually two more directions I can go. I th Jesus, this is a big level. Or maybe the one way was bringing me back. Just jump to your death and see where it takes you. Yeah, this is the way back. So the other way is over here. Okay. Yeah, because we haven't been this way for sure. A wastelander move is still badass. It's never gonna stop being badass. Ow. I like that the headshot gets the one shot. Oh, does it? I didn't it know. It has every time in the past. I don't like how it starts with me. Just imagine getting shot in the in the noggin gem. In the noggin gem, eh? Yeah, in the gem noggin. Ooh. Okay, watch this shit. When we land, Daxter is planted on the ground. Underneath and he gets, you, like, yeah. Healed up. <laughs> God. Just, just trying to just 
batter him now. God damn. Just die, you bitch. I love these guys. These little frogs. They yeah, they were they were done really weirdly in Jack and Daxter. Um pretty sure there's a thing down here. No, it just looks like it. Oh, down here. Isn't there a down isn't there a swim button? Interesting. Um, in Jack and Daxter, it was the thing where you like hit a button and then a bunch of things that look a lot like that like flew down at you. Holy shit! You remember what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that that was uh, really bad repositioning. It was a uh, it was a hallway of like little dudes jumping at you. Oh, and they were being spawned by machines that you had to go and shut down. I remember that now. Yeah, and they gave you red eco to like shoot fireballs at them. Oh yeah, I forgot there was multiple types of eco in the last game. They definitely did themselves a favor by streamlining that and going over to guns. It was a good decision on two different accounts. No, one, just, just one account. And what was Sorry, that account? I, I had to focus on this guy. He's, he's a fucking bastard. Um, the account, the one account, not the, not the two. Ignore the second account. I want you to take $500 out of the first account and move it into the second account. <laughs> now, that's a 5% APR uh, interest. Uh, yeah, what the finance. fuck does APR mean? It means, like, after... Um, after purchase retail? Like, after uh, predator... Uh, <laughs> after predator returns? <laughs> As in, five, this money is worth a lot more once the predator comes back. Yeah, exactly. I, I just always hear, though, it's like, uh, oh, yeah, with only 5% APR or 4% OAC, what, a, what do those things mean? Um, Mr. Schwarzenegger, would you like us to take the money out of the account? Do it! Predator is out! Just do it now! <laughs> Jesus. I was actually notified by um, by my bank the other day that uh, they had increased the um, the limits on both of my cards. Nice. And I just went, wait, 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 wait. Both? Like, I don't have two cards. So I messaged them and I said, like, Whoa, what's up with this other card? Like, why don't I recognize this number? Apparently, it's a card that I guess I've never used because it was like for my old child youth account. Oh. And yet for some reason, they increased the limit, doubled the limit on a card that does not physically exist anymore and is for an invalid account. That mm. just shows you how much they want you to spend money. Oh, absolutely. They're like, we will increase the limit on everything. Uh, that's actually the limit on how much I could pay you back. Doesn't matter. Oh, Just right. spend your money. Well, hey, if you can't pay us all at once, we'd be happy to do a financing plan for you. It actually works out better for us when you finance. We it's great. make more. We like it when you don't have money because then you pay us. The one thing that infuriates me is the Ontario lottery because it's a government-run lottery. Really? But to me, it feels like they don't... Um, they're just not... Oh, fuck, I, I don't even know how to put it because I don't know what the laws are on what you are and aren't allowed to advertise. I mean, it's the they're not they acting to, in good faith. That's for sure. Conform to the law if they make it. I would hope. Of course, brother. We're in a democracy. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> and they say in the um, OLG advertisements for um, a lottery called Lottery Six Forty Nine, they say someone has to win. But what they're referring to is it's that them. there's. <laughs> Well, there's actually good point. Good point. But it's like intentionally vague writing. It's like someone here will do well, including myself. Um, they and they say that because they have guaranteed prizes, which means every time there's a draw, a certain num number of people will win a million dollars. That's right. a that's a guarantee no matter what. So that way they say someone has to win. But the reality is you only win the jackpot if you have all six numbers correct mm. between zero or one and 49. So when they say someone has to win it, right after they say the jackpot, that's inherently deceptive because no one has to win the jackpot. People could just keep losing it every single week, week after week after yeah. week, and it just keep keep on growing. Cause it's, 
It's like people say, um, oh, if there's a 1% chance you do it 100 times, it'll happen. No. Sort of, but you could do it 10 million times, and it could still never happen. You could have a 99% chance If to, you've to ever win. played World of Warcraft, you were intimately familiar with drop <laughs> rates and how they do not ever work in your favor. So these three different paths that all land with a different uh, piece of precursor technology all have um, the cinematics don't relate to each other they're only specific to themselves because they allowed you to do anything you wanted in whatever order so where there are some things like um, you know next time you turn the valve that kind oh, of yeah, thing yeah. they couldn't do that so they made three independent animations that play out no matter how uh, you go I like, I like that this was, um, this was similar to the way Jack and Daxter ran. Because in Jack and Daxter, there was levels where you would go in and there would be four or five objectives, right? Mm -hmm. Go and do this, go and do that, find all seven bot flies, do whatever. Oh, bot flies. And I think that this was a good callback because it was done better. Like, it, it felt cohesive and coherent, whereas in Jack and Daxter, it never did. It always felt Everything like... felt, yeah, disconnected. Yeah. They felt like they just dropped you into this, whoa, 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 check out that cityscape. Yeah, buddy. Holy shit. And it actually runs at a consistent 60 FPS because they just, uh, they figured out what worked. Yeah, wow, that's awesome, man. Did you know that that's, that's actually how it works? Go and look down into the... Yeah, like, it looks like a golf course. Like, look at the paths. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Super Mario racing. <laughs> looks like Mario Kart for NES. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's amazing. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Uh, next time, um, actually no, this time, I'm going to try to hit, I'm trying to land on that platform down there. <laughs> Do it. Do it! Spin, spin, <laughs> spin! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff.